Hello and welcome back to the GJ Sports Blog. Um, we're back with some more uh, GAA coverage and in this episode we're going to be talking about Gaelic football and the final games in the National Football League. So once again I have my um, my expert back, um, Connor McKenna. So um, Connor's going to, we're going to talk about um, Division 1, Division 2, 3 and 4 in the Football League and uh, see what way what way we think this uh, final weekend's gonna gonna pan out so um welcome back connor um everything good with you yeah perfect jerry and yourself yeah all good all good so we'll um we'll not waste too much time and we'll go straight into the action here anyway we'll go straight into division one where certainly the um the league title could be decided on saturday um with Kerry playing home to Donegal, where a win for Kerry will win, will win the league for the for the kingdom. So, what what do you uh, do? You think Kerry will do that on Saturday? It'll be a, it'll be a tough game. Donegal are a very very good team there, and Donegal have, have serious serious potential in the ranks. But I'd say Kerry will probably do the job next next Saturday against Donegal. Kerry have uh, they're a lot of people's favourites to the All Ireland this year. But I think that game could actually be a repeat of the All Ireland final. Could be a dress rehearsal now. Obviously, the Ireland final won't be down in in um, in Tralee or Killarney, but but um, I think this weekend will tell an awful lot for for Kerry's point of view. They need to win this game this weekend. They'd love to win a league. They didn't win the league last year. They bet Mayo in the final like last year. They came short in the league and the All Ireland final, but winning the league this year, they'd love to go one better in both of those competitions. Um, certainly, I, I caught a bit of the um the Donegal and Tyrone game at the weekend. Um, Donegal obviously come out on top. Um, so it's actually quite strange where, like, at one stage you were looking at that game as possibly, you know, if Donegal had lost that, they might have been sitting and, and concerned about relegation. And now they've actually got an outside chance where they could win the league, depending on on uh, how results go. But um, so obviously, if Kerry beat Donegal, the league's over and it's, it's finished. But um, if if um, Donegal win or there's a draw there, um, it could go to Galway or Dublin. So how do you see that on Sunday? Yeah, well, Dublin and Galway will be another um, very good game there. Um, there too. Um, that game, it'll depend, I suppose, if if um, if Kerry win, that game is a dead rubber. If Donegal mm-hmm. win, then that becomes a very big game. If for both teams, it's, it's essentially a league final. If Donegal win and Galway and Dublin draw, Donegal will win the league. If Kerry win, their champion is black and white. If Kerry draw and Galway win, then Kerry win the league. If Kerry draw with Donegal and Dublin win, then Dublin win the league. So, so a lot of permutations, but the most likely one would be probably be a Kerry win at the weekend and then that Dublin-Galway game is suddenly a dead rubber game. Um, Galway were very, very disappointing against Mayo last weekend, so they'll want to maybe right a few wrongs this weekend and, and prove that it was a once-off Mayo game. But yeah, look, hopefully we'll see how it goes. But I, I'd, I'd say... I'd say Dublin or Galway won't be overly worried about that game, to be honest, Jerry, this weekend. Okay, and uh, obviously we know um, we know Meath of Meath are gone, and um, they go to um, Monaghan, um, who still will most likely need something um, to stay up, depending on how Mayo and Tyrone go. So, is there is there anything there? Who would you who would your money uh, who would your money be with to, to go down there from that? Money probably be on Tyrone, Jerry. To be honest, like if you look at Monaghan against Mead, Mead have nothing to play for. Monaghan, if they're any business winning the championship, should be beating the Mead side with nothing to play for. Now, Mead are not bad at all, but Monaghan should be able to beat them if Mead have nothing to play for. With nothing at stake, you know. But um, Mayo and Tyrone, Mayo were very, very good last week. Tyrone weren't very good against Donegal. They were flash. It was a lot at stake, but Donegal were a lot better than them. Mayo were um, very, very good against Galway. They were perfect performance series from James Horan's side, but they're playing Tyrone in Castlebar this weekend, and they have to win or to relegate well. A draw might do with Monaghan and lose, but they'd be going out with the attitude that we lose this game or relegated. So I'd say Mayo and, and Monaghan probably win, and then Tyrone will be down in them um, in Division Two, and that that'll be a very, very, very big blow for them because Division Two football is not where they want to be. Okay, maybe it's not the end of the world, maybe, but at the end of the day, it's very, very hard to win another Ireland from Division Two. It, uh, it certainly um, the way the way Mayo come out in the first half last week against Galway, you know, like they, they scored enough points probably to win most matches. Um, so if they start again like that, it is hard to see Tyrone, uh, Tyrone staying with them. But um, so just sort of you, your your thoughts are probably that Kerry will will win the league and that probably Tyrone join Meath and and going down to the basin two then. Um, yeah. Okay. So we'll um we'll we'll go on then 
to Division Two. Um, so Ross Common, our top, um, and our man Westmeath are uh, are level on points um, for second and third. Um, but it's it's quite a, it's very unique and there isn't like you're sure looking at it and like Fermanagh is relegated. Um, Ross Common will probably go up and then everybody could kind of go up or down almost. Um, so it's it's obviously it's an interesting division. Like what 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 do you think on and what's going to happen there? Well, it's it's very interesting because seven of the of the eight teams have something to play for. Like Ross Common technically could not get promoted, and technically out of those eight teams, six teams out of eight could get either promoted or relegated. That's again, that's how that's how mad this division has been. Now the police would need an absolute miracle to get promoted, but there. We just go through the games. Leach are playing for Mana away in and it's killing. Now for Mana have nothing to play for. Leach have everything at stake. This is nearly their other final in the sense that they want to avoid relegation to Division Three. So you imagine Leach should win that game against the Fermanagh team with with that are already relegation. So that would leave them on seven points. Now if you're just going to go through the other games, Cavan Ross Common is a big game because if Cavan win, they have a good chance of promotion. If they lose it, they they have a good chance of being relegated. Well, I don't know will they get promoted or not, but like, they definitely do not want to get relegated. Cabin like so, so they hope to be Ross Common. I'd say they're probably not. They're probably nearly as good as Ross Common, regardless. Like there wouldn't be much between them. But if Ross Common go with the mindset that they're already promoted, Cavan might have a chance to to cause an ambush there. And like if Cavan win, would like to win that game, and I'd say Cavan would be very very happy to stay in Division Two. Then if you look at the clear in Armagh, the clear are in a very very funny position because. This may as well be a playoff for them because if they lose the game, there's a very, very good chance they'll get relegated. Although they have a better head to head than Kadir and Cavan. But if they win that game, there's a very, very good chance they're going to get promoted. So it's really, really up in the air. But then Westmead and Kadir, Westmead have to better Armagh's results. So if Armagh win and Westmead will not get be promoted, if Armagh draw and Westmead win, Westmead will be promoted. And if Westmead lose, then and Armagh win, Armagh will be promoted. Like so. That game, a Kildare could still another outside chance of getting promotion if, if at all if things go. But it's hard. I, I'd imagine Armagh would probably be clear and they'd probably just take that final promotion place. But I don't know how I can't I can't call the relegation. All. I suppose if Armagh be clear, then it'll be it can, the other results don't go clear the way they'll be relegated. But like it, 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 the relegation is impossible to call it. Any team who gets relegated will be very very unlucky because if Leach lose, they'll have deserved to go down on five points. But if another team, if Leach win and a team goes down on six points, it'll be very very unfortunate. I think whenever you just sort of look at the, the format and you, you just look at how how tight that division is, you know, it, it is probably a credit to the to the competition that it is it is so tight. As you say, you know, like six teams can go up and seven out of eight have got something to play for, you know. So it, it is, it's one thing I hate in sport is dead rubbers and there's not very many of them in that division. And, and you know, that's, that's always, uh, it's always an encouraging sign. Definitely, definitely. So we'll go on to Division 3, where there's not a lot to play for, but there is obviously an interesting story um, coming out with the fact that Longford basically um, conceded the game to Cork, um, which basically meant that Down were promoted and completely killed off any chances that Derry or even Longford themselves had um, of going up. So what, what, what do you make of that decision? Well, I'm, I'm surprised, Jerry. I'm struggling to get my hand around why they are not going to play the game because, like, the game is in Longford and, and they have a championship game next week, so it surely would have been a serious, serious preparation, like, for, for the game. But, like, if you look at it, like, like okay, they're, they're, like, they 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 have a chance of promotion, like, so it's not like it's a dead rubber game for them, really. Like, okay, the chance of promotion are minimal, but Derry could, if they win, then there's a chance Derry could, could have got promoted, like, so, so it's, um, it's, 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 it, I, I, it's not, a, it's, it's a decision I don't understand personally, to be honest, but, like, Cork, um, Cork were happy to travel and they would like the game again before they play Kerry this weekend. But but um no, but it it all it really means that down down and promoted and they're actually after being promoted without kicking a ball because they got a walk over against Leitrim last week and they're actually getting another walk over here. But this is going to happen in suppose in, in the COVID circumstances. There could be anything going on behind the scene that led them to take the decision. But it, I, I was taken by surprise by the decision, I must say. Do you think it affects the, the um the integrity of the competition in that division? I, I don't know. I don't know just because, like, really, with the whole COVID thing, this, this, these things are going to be common. They're going to be clear missing. So, so I, I think that even 
Very Rory Gallagher is a good, very good coach, a good fella. He's not someone that's going to make excuses either. Like so, and realistically, if they have won their games against down, they... so I wouldn't say that I wouldn't say anyone would be blaming. And the likelihood is the Cork would have won the game anyway. Like so, so it's um, I wouldn't say the integrity is is changed as such. No, I wouldn't, Jerry. I have to say. Okay, well, obviously, just the, just the way that um, that division is, then it pretty much leaves it, it's more or less all decided. Um, can can Leitrim math can they mathematically stay up yet? Um, I suppose that would be the head to head and point difference and stuff. If they beat Tipperary and Offaly, if they beat Tipperary, they'll have Tipperary on a head to head, and if they hope maybe Offaly. Yeah. They get something against Derry and then which Offaly could easily do. But Leitrim have a chance. I, I was very, very surprised by them not fielding against Down um, Jerry, I have to say, like as well. I think that that's probably another story. I, I don't understand personally why teams mightn't feel I suppose like I suppose Leitrim, like especially with a game like that, like, they surely would have gathered up fifteen players to play in the county. I, I suppose other years there's sanctions for not fielding and, and it wouldn't be an option. But if there's no sanctions, maybe teams are, are more open to it. But if, if there's loads of players missing and they might think in the current circumstances it's not maybe appropriate to travel to an area. There might be any reasons for that. But but um but look sure that, that that's the way it is and then it's done now and, and I suppose they'll be the ones that might suffer if they if they lose and get relegated at the weekend. Yep. Okay. Um so we'll move on then just to, to division four. We'll just touch on it then. Um in this division there is actually only two matches now this this weekend, um London and Carlo. Um with COVID and that there, it's it's been uh, it's been postponed, and now Waterford have conceded the the game against Antrim, which just leaves Sligo and Limerick and Wexford and Wicklow. Obviously, um, Wexford and Wicklow, you know, at least at least one of those has gone up, um, possibly both, you know, depending on what happens. But um, how how else do you see what what way do you see those those two games going? Sligo, Limerick, and Wexford and Wicklow. What Waterford just to start off, they were maybe a bit more understandable because it's a long way from Waterford to Antrim and there was nothing at stake for them and they hadn't played a match last week. But I still think that they could have they could have fielded a team if, if they if they wanted to have for that game. I suppose players weren't willing to travel. See, it gets very, very messy with the with the whole thing. But look sure, I suppose that Antrim they would have definitely taken two points on the pitch. So I'd say that they'd be they'd be happy to take two points off the pitch. But it would have been a great chance for them if they could have won this game, maybe to to bounce back from last week's heavy, heavy defeat against Wicklow. So they're on nine points now. I think Wicklow and Wexford are both on on eight points. So so yeah. if Sligo beat if Sligo can beat him, can beat Limerick, then what Antrim have a serious chance of promotion. All they need is for Wexford and Wicklow to avoid a draw. Now Limerick were in a great position after four rounds, but they're after losing their last two games. So it would be nearly catas- catastrophe for them if they didn't get promoted after such a great start. But like Limerick, Limerick are. Um, Limerick are at the stage where if the Sligo have, have nothing to play for really other than Pride and Sligo, if they had beaten Carroll last weekend would have had a chance, but they don't really have a chance now. So so I think that um that Sligo um that Limerick they'll hope to win that game. It, it's up in Sligo, it won't be easy. But if Limerick will hope to win that game and that should see them through. But then Wexford Wicklow, that'll be a that Wexford are win away back of a very very against Antrim. So Davy Burke is with Wicklow. He's a very, very good coach. He coached the Kildare under 20s to win all Ireland. He coached Sarsfields in, in Kildare to win a cha- county championship as well. So, so Wicklow definitely will not be, be 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 lost with the lack of preparation. And Wexford Shane Roach has come in there as an interim manager, and he'd be well respected within the county. So it'll be a huge boost to either of those teams to win. And it's actually a dress rehearsal of that game for the for the Leinster championship game. But I think that this game, it, this won't be said publicly ever, but I think if they offer, if were offered a win at the weekend or a win in the Leicester Championship, they'd take a league win because it's probably more important long term to get up to Division 3. OK. Um, I think, uh, just just as you're saying about Antrim, you know, and them having a decent chance, obviously, if if, uh, if Sligo can do can do them a favour. Um, it's it's quite, quite, a, quite a turnaround because, obviously, like last week after, you know, such a... Such a humiliating defeat, you know. Like I think with seven goals, I think it was Wicklow got, you know. So, um, obviously, you know, if somehow Antrim end up getting promoted out of the division, you know, it'll be, it would obviously be a big, um, a big achievement for, for the county. But um, we'll see what happens. And probably, to be honest, there maybe is um, all our teams that are more deserving. Um, but these uh, these things will happen in uh, in these leagues. So. Obviously, then once the once the leagues are over, we'll get on to the um, 
the championships um, hopefully next week and hopefully you'll uh, you'll join me again and we'll uh, we'll get a look at those. Yeah, that would be perfect, Jerry. I look, I look forward to that now to, to doing a bit to do that. Excellent, excellent. Well, you know, thanks, thanks very much um, for you know coming on and personally, you know, I'm I'm learning things from listening to you and you know, ultimately, you know, that's a, a lot of the reason why sort of I do these um, sports is to, to to learn things, you know. So and uh, hopefully, you know, I'm learning stuff and and uh, listeners are learning stuff too. So. Thanks again for coming on, and uh, as I say, hopefully we're gonna we're gonna keep this uh, keep this going throughout the championship, and uh, just looking forward now to a proper proper feast of um, proper feast of, feast of the games, and uh, definitely uh, this weekend, starting this weekend, I'm certainly looking forward to the big uh, the big hurling games. Um, so we'll um, we'll catch up again um, after those games and have a chat and start to start to look the preview but um thank you for coming on um thanks to everyone who's listening and obviously you can uh, hit like subscribe um all the usual stuff on the page and uh as i say we're going to be bringing uh, a lot of ga coverage so um tell your friends and you know if you have any questions for myself or connor um get in contact and we'll uh, we'll maybe um try and get them on the next episode so thanks uh thanks very much for um for watching and until next week thank you